Now we're crossing next to where we sank the car. This is where it happened. Originally, let me just. I would like it to do that. Do you like it as well? <laughs> Are you ready for another amazing day here yes. in the Moremi? I can't wait to see what my photo is like. Me too. Guys, we are on the road. We have just passed over Third Bridge. We are going to take the, I want to say the main route across Fourth Bridge on the way to the Kakanaka uh, Gate, and then from there make our way to Kwai and to the Mokoto campsite. It is incredible. The people at the reception um, here at Third Bridge told us last night that the lions walked through the camp. We didn't see them, we heard them, but also not when they were that close to camp. We heard them, but yeah, it's still cool to know that, you know, that is how wild this place is and where we are now. We're very excited to get to Mukoto. It is, I think that was like one of the oh, highlight you. places of this trip for us. to fourth bridge so we're making good time today um, but we're having a really good drive this place is beautiful eh? yeah it's insane it is Do so beautiful to to get the shot? no 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 we've got the shot you've already seen it
what do you think of the Miami Central? It is absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite places. I think this is tied with Kutse, but like for, for different reasons. Those are my two favorite places. Um, I prefer Kakanaka. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Um, above Third Bridge. I liked the campsite more. There were elephants in the campsite. It was very open. You could see quite far. We had campsite number seven. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it if you don't want to be where cars are because the road does go past both sides of the campsite. But that honestly didn't bother me. It added like quite a cool experience to it as well because the game viewers came up, uh, past every now and then. Um, but what I really liked about and what I can speak uh, can I say about the whole uh, Moremi area the bathrooms are insane they are clean they are tidy really like something to be very proud of so props to them for that the only thing is at third bridge there was no hot water and the water pressure was very low and a shower is like a big selling point for me especially when but it's we quite have hot a shower in the car. I know we have a shower I'm no I'm not moaning at all I'm just there, there are people who come who don't have showers you know what I mean so if you're coming and you don't have your own shower facilities, then I would definitely say Kakanaka is better. But overall, Kakanaka okay, was my favorite. But you also can't say Third Bridge never works. Like no, no, no. Was just no, it could just be a now thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There was something about Kakanaka that stole my heart. But I agree with you. Yeah. Kakanaka was, it's definitely my favorite between the two. Yes. So we're going to go to Mahoto tonight. And that's the one that I've been looking forward to the most. So I'm probably going to move Kakanaka to number two and Mokoto to number one after tonight but I will let you know tomorrow what my thoughts are. Um, in terms of wildlife we've seen a lot of game, a lot of bird life. We haven't seen any of the big five in terms of like lions and leopards um, but we saw beautiful elephant yesterday so it's honestly been the experience of a lifetime. Like I would recommend this to anyone and it's something that you can't explain because if I had to think about something to um, like but for like in English okay. compare compare it to in South Africa I cannot think of one place that is this incredible so highly recommend the Maremi will definitely be coming back and I think we'll be coming back pretty soon that's it folks
are approaching a viewpoint where we're going to stop and make a quick brunch. We are 29 kilometers from um, Bogoto. Very excited. This road has been incredible and eventful. It's freaking incredible. Um, we'll definitely be doing this road again soon. I think this might be a favorite, a favorite of mine. Yeah, I you? agree. I agree. stopped at a small little pan we are gonna as I said make brunch check it out Open and just let it yeah. out. We can pull the tackle mats out. You think so? Okay. Let them dry. Uh, you like it, Vicky. That was Vicky at them. Thank you, Jesus. Where is all? I guard the area. I'm going Guys, we sunk the call. Cool. Yeah, beer. Yeah. Can I get say I was here? This part was dark, but was even dark. Was what? Was that? Yeah, true. Well, it's another part. It was maybe after another part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ja, 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 Guys, we went in there and we got stuck and the car started flooding on the inside. I don't know if you can see there, let me just... There you can see my boots and everything is wet, there's still water in the car. So we did. We did sink the car, but luckily <coughs> Kenny and them winched us out super quickly. We were stuck in there. It was very traumatic, I'm not going to lie. But God is good and everything is fine, the car is fine. Everything's going to be okay. I did not follow the rules, I did not walk it. But we are not done yet, we're gonna give it another go. Um, that was quite scary. Okay guys, unfortunately I have the 24 to 70 lens on so it's very zoomed in but I don't want you to miss anything of what's happening now. Um, Kenneth got out to try and save the car and he left me inside so what I did was I picked up all the electronics, plugged everything out, hit the cameras in the bags, made sure that like at least all the electronics were up. Um, now we're crossing next to where we sank the car. This is where it happened. Originally, let me just Don't stop. Don't stop. Get us through this. It's amper daar. Nee, kom net die uit. Iso, iso, iso is terug rond. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Hold on, wait, let me just take the f-stop down. Hmm. Was he, where's the radio? Um. Makkelijker gelijk, ek denk, al met al die klein onder die tikkie vat. That was like uh What's his eyes? I can't do it. Okay, but Paul, how was this, this drive up here for you? Legend. Huh? Epic, epic, epic. Jock, 
Hoe was hierdie pad vir jou? Ah, oh, awesome. Hè? Zelfs die vast het, nee. <laughs> Did I make you stress? Absolutely. <laughs> Did I make you stress? No, no, I was there to help quickly. Hmm? I, no, I did stress actually. <laughs> I could scream at everybody. <laughs> Check it out like that. It's a new rim style. It's a new rim style. Yeah, check it out. It's a new rim style. Hey guys, we are officially in Kwai. It's been a pretty eventful day. Um, I don't know, something interesting as well. Just after we got proper stuck, we um, drove past a safari guide that told us like right and then, um, at Hippo Pools, an uh, elephant rolled a car. So yeah, Moremi, it's quite a wild place. I know I made a stupid mistake. I think I got overconfident with all the crossings and mud and water things we've done up until now. So I didn't walk what I was supposed to walk and then it caught me by surprise. But luckily, the guys were very, very close to me. So I was out of there in what? Very quick. Yeah. Like two minutes. I was surprised. Is it two minutes? Three minutes? Yeah. Three minutes. So nothing bad happened to the car. Everything is fine. I was sitting this deep in water though, which for me was a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. No, it was definitely a scary experience for us. Um, the car did get wet on the inside. So when we get to camp now, we're just gonna take off the takla covers and let our carpets dry as much as they can. And then when we get back home, we'll do a proper nice valet wash of the carpets and everything. But this is Botswana, you know, this is the risk we, we choose to take. And it was a very good experience. Yeah. Um, and good lessons learned, like you walk anything. Like I, not once did I see it becoming that deep. So far the Kwai area beautiful. is beautiful. The sandy roads are amazing. It's so fun driving on them. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have an amazing time in Kwai. You want to say something? I'm still recovering from the shock. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite tired now. I feel like I need a nap. But um, this road coming in towards Mahoto is stunning. It reminds me of Kutsi with the lack of thick sand. Very, very cool. It's already very beautiful. Fish eagle in the tree on the right. Guys, this is the trail we're following. Guys, because we are, this whole journey, we've been dedicated to take the road less traveled. So we are taking tracks that haven't been driven in, I don't know how long. A few sections, we lose the track completely. 
in many sections the track diverges into two and you know it gets very confusing we are we are being very adventurous Guys, this is the road. There is no road. I think this is the better crossing, eh? Like it's a better route than anywhere. It's got like a path. You can see four exit options over here. Maybe it's even better for us. Guys, the deep love. The deep. It's funny when this thing's underwater. Mine was just twice. You can drive it. No, you can't. No. What the hell were you thinking, Daryl? You just went <laughs> yellow submarine. I call a link on the window. Was open. Oh no! Think of the water coming out. It's, it's yellow, yellow, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just me. I can't stop it all. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, love, I don't want to do this one. We're going to do this one. Look at the other one's easier, eh? Yes, the that's what I'm saying. Can we do the other one? Uh, we can do. I promise you, we're going to do Did it. you see how deep he was? His whole car was the, underwater. The water came over did the roof. Did you see what he did? Okay, let me tell you. Yeah. The other one, the water comes on the bonnet. This, this one, the water goes on the roof. Okay. Exactly. We'll go around. Where are people that are strategically positioned to pull you out? What the end say, I do? guys we just did a very very deep water crossing got the nerves going again because of what happened to us previously but now we are on other we are on the other side we're waiting for Daryl who's gonna come now there's another rental car with uh, foreigners in it and we offered having one car there so when they go through and if they get stuck then we can assist them but then Daryl's gonna come through and I'm getting to get an epic shot of that enough do you see how easy that was when you actually just took it slower no, but it's, they, they didn't even come yeah, look but there. then the fun's gone then the fun's gone i know
see what's happening. Mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, it's soaked. That's what they say. Right. Boy. Isn't it Biggie Fail? I think it's not that bad, but like, it's just, it is wet. <laughs> is it fire water? Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't We are at our camp at Mokoto. It is really beautiful. Like I'm a little bit sad that I'm being preoccupied with trying to get my carpets um, dry. But I've taken out all the takla covers, all the covers that are on the carpets, but the car is pretty wet on the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it as open as much as I can to see if it can air out. But this place is beautiful. It is really magical. <laughs> Kenneth in his natural editing habitat. 